In this sample problem, we are asked to write down the reaction quotient for this chemical reaction, which is the decomposition of dinitrogen pentaoxide. In order to write down the reaction quotient for this chemical reaction, first we have to make sure this chemical reaction is balanced. So now let's take a look. We have two nitrogen on the left hand side and one nitrogen on the right hand side. So we should put a two on the product side just to balance the number of nitrogen. Then we look at oxygen. On the reactant side, we have five oxygen on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we have two times two, four, plus another two, which is six. So we have six oxygen on the product side and only five oxygen on the reactant side. So that means we need to have more oxygen on the left hand side. And it's not obvious that we have five oxygen versus six, and what should be the coefficient? So for example, let's give it a shot. Just put a two in front and see what will happen. Now we look at this reactant again. We have four nitrogen atom on the reactant side, and we only have two nitrogen on the product side. So we should change this two to a four. So that we can balance the number of nitrogen. Okay, so now we have oxygen left. We have two times five, 10 oxygen on the left hand side, and we have four times two, which is eight, plus another two oxygen. So once again, now on both sides of the reaction, we have 10 oxygen atom. So now this chemical reaction is balanced, and we are ready to write down the reaction quotient for this reaction. The symbol for reaction quotient is QC equal to the molar concentration of the product, NO2, okay, and the stoichiometric coefficient will go to the power of the molar concentration, in this case a 4, times the concentration of O2 to the first power, which we can ignore. Then we have the concentration of the reactant side, which is N2O5 to the second power. That's it. This is the reaction quotient for the decomposition of dinitrogen pentaoxide.